Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to a quick addendum video on my previous Bot Mall Blueprint parameterization video. Many of you wanted to know how do we determine the number of stacks, because you had mentioned wanting to have that option. Because right now, all it asks you to do is select an item, and then it does one stack, and you guys wanted to know how do we make it so it asks me how many stacks I want. So we're going to add that into the Blueprint real quick. So what we're going to do is we're going to first make a copy of our blueprint. So we're going to call that V3, not V32, test. And just a quick reminder on the parameterization, go watch the other video uh, if you haven't seen it. But we're basically just saying, what item do we want to craft up here? Each of these parameters is set to be the six ingredients. And then we're taking the smaller of either 60 seconds of crafting time or the stack size. So then at the bottom, we were just setting this amount that we put into the circuit condition. OK, we're fine uh, <laughs> into the circuit condition for the for the inserter, we were making sure the inserter wouldn't insert more than a stack size into the logistic network. Now, if you want more than one stack, you could change that right here, but then it would change it for all of your blueprints. So if we actually want this to be a variable, then we're going to have to add another signal into our blueprint here. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the blueprint and you're going to paste it down and you're going to select parameter zero. Now, some of you don't have this menu. That's because it's in the settings. Oops. It's in the settings under interface uh, down here somewhere. Show parameters in selection lists. So you have to make sure that's checked. And then you place your blueprint and select parameter zero or just select nothing. And that'll be the same as what you had before. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to add a signal here. Now, this might seem a little confusing, but bear with me. We're going to add one deconstruction planner. Now, the issue I could just do seven deconstruction planners and then it would have a separate value that wouldn't overlap with these guys. But the problem with that is whatever number we use is also going to be the default. So if you want seven stacks by default, then that'd be fine. But I think most of the time you're going to want one stack by default. And then if you want to change it from one, you can. So what we're going to do is we're going to free up the value of one on parameter one request, we're going to actually request seven of them. So now the value of one is free. So our one deconstruction planner will be a different bar in the parameterization. I know that's a little weird. We could reorder all of these, but then we'd have to redo the formulas. And this has the least amount of work for us in the future. So we're going to close that. And then on this guy, we're going to make sure that's not on a one. Uh, we had previously typed in 100. It, doesn't really matter what it is as long as it's a separate number from the rest. So now we should be good to go to uh, select new contents here and we'll take out the tiles. And again, this is where the magic happens. So now the one is a new thing. The one is now how many deconstruction planners we have requested. So that's no longer what we want to use for a formula. Instead, we want to make that a variable X. And we're going to move that down here just for clarity. And that variable X is going to be multiplied into our formula here by how many our inserter will insert into the provider chest. So now this is going to turn into the stack size times X, whatever we have entered there. And we want to name this maybe number or just num stacks. How about? And now this seven has to take the place of what the previous formula was doing up here, which is how many um, we're going to request of ingredient one. So we're going to use that same formula, but it's item one or ingredient one in the parameter zero or the um, the P1S, which is the stack size of this parameter one. So one stack or 60 seconds of crafting of ingredient one. So hopefully that makes sense. This variable gets used to multiply and then we can and make sure formula is unchecked for this. If formula is checked, it'll mess up. So we go ahead and hit confirm. We go ahead and hit save blueprint and then our V3 test. When we place it down, it's not asking for number of stacks, which means we made a mistake. OK, so I found the bug. It turns out there is an actual bug in the game. If formula is unchecked here, it will still prevent you from 
having the selection that you're supposed to have unless you actually delete sorry go back into the parameterization you have to delete the formula even if it's unchecked if it's invalid it won't let you select it so make sure that you erase the the formula that was in the num stacks row otherwise it won't let you so now we can craft you know electronic circuits 10 stacks hit confirm and bada bing bada boom 2000 circuits so I hope this helps. Um, as always, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.